Hi there! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang limit of a piecewise function. Ang piecewise function ay unang i-discuss ng grade 11 general mathematics class. Bakit ba siya tinawag na piecewise function? Tinawag siya ang piecewise function dahil sa word na piece. That means, it composed of two or more pieces of another function. So let's say we have p of x is equal to f of x if x is greater than or equal to 1 and g of x if x is less than 1. So yung 1 dito, yun yung endpoints nung bawat graph ng function. So itong x is greater than or equal to 1 going to the right siya nung f of x. Ito naman g of x ay going to the left. Another one, we have p of x is equal to 3 pieces of function. f of x if x is less than 2. g of x if x is greater than or equal to 2 but less than or equal to 5 and h of x if x is greater than 5. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayo rito sa una, going to the left, itong isa ay between 2 and 5 at ito namang isa ay going to the right. Okay? So, paano ba natin kunin ang limit ng piecewise function? So, ito yung uh, lesson bago yung limit of algebraic and transcendental functions na diniscuss ko before nilagay ko sa uh, video description ang kanilang link. So, uh, let's have a quick review of the limits of algebraic and exponential functions. So, ginagamit natin doon ay yung direct substitution wherein limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to f of c. Ginagamitan lamang natin siya ng direct substitution. So, yung direct substitution, automatic, ginagamit natin siya sa polynomial function, exponential function, logarithmic, trigonometric function. Okay? So, kapag ang limit or ang f of c ay hindi defined dun sa given na function or the function is not defined at x equals c, then the limit does not exist. Okay? Pero dito sa polynomial, okay, exponential function, at saka dito sa sine and cosine function, the function is defined for all values of x. Okay? Ibig sabihin, wala siyang restriction. Pero itong uh, logarithmic functions and then the other trigonometric functions ay uh, hindi siya, meron siyang restriction kasi nga ang domain niya ay hindi set of real numbers. Ngayon, itong radical at rational function, pwede natin siyang gamitan ng direct substitution pero meron tayong limit doon sa paggamit dahil may form na indeterminate na 0 over 0. At kapag 0 over 0, ginagamitan natin siya ng Factoring technique kung saan tinatanggal natin yung common expression or common factor ng numerator at denominator at nagra-rationalizing technique din tayo. So itong uh, direct substitution ay magagamit natin kasi nga ang piecewise function ay nagko-compose ng iba't ibang uri ng limit or pwede transcendental functions. Let's have the first example. Given f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 3 and x plus 1 all over 2 if x is less than 3. Let us first recall kung paano ba nag-e-exist e ang limit ng function or ano yung value ng limit ng function, paano kunin siya. So, if limit of f of x as x approaches c from the right, yung right hand limit ay equal siya sa limit of f of x as x approaches c from the left. So kapag ang left at right hand limit ay equal, the limit exists. Pero kapag ang right hand limit at ang left hand limit ay not equal, the limit does not exist. In the case of piecewise function, let's say x approaches something, kailangan nating alamin kung ano yung uh, piece ng function ang gagamitin natin. Okay, for example, limit of f of x as x approaches 4. Okay, dahil 4 yung ating uh, kukunin, okay, tingnan natin yung value kung saan ba included yung 4. Saan dito? Dito ba sa x is greater than or equal to 3? Or x is less than 3? So, dito tayo sa x is greater than or equal to 3. Tingnan muna natin dito. Dito kasi included ang 4. So, yun ang ating gagamitin. So, 4 from the right, syempre, from the right of 4, ang values niya is 5, 6, 7, and so on. Pero pinakamalapit sa kanya yung 5, papa-approach sa 4. So, ang gagamitin natin dito yung 2x plus 1. So, since 2x plus 1 is a polynomial function, then we can use direct substitution agad-agad. So, 2x plus 1 is equal to 2 times 4 plus 1 is equal to 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Ngayon, ano naman yung limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left? Ngayon, ano naman yung values from the left of 4? Di ba siya ay 3? Yun na pinakamalapit na value niya. 3 approaching 4. So, ano pa rin ang gagamitin nating 
a piece ng function. Siyempre, ito pa rin 2x plus 1. Kaya, dahil 2x plus 1 pa rin ang gagamitin natin para ma-evaluate yung limit of f of x, then limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left is equal to 9. At dahil ang limit ng right hand at left hand limit ay equal, therefore, limit of f of x as x approaches 4 is equal to 9. Let's have the second example. f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6 if x is less than negative 3 and square root of x plus 5 if x is greater than or equal to negative 3. And we are going to find the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3. Para makuha natin ang right hand limit, alamin natin kung anong piece ng function ang ating gagamitin. So, from the right of negative 3, di ba ang values niya ay negative 3? Negative 2 yung pinakamalapit niya. So, ano rito yung ating gagamitin na piece ng function? Di ba itong x is greater than or equal to negative 3? We have values uh, including negative 3 and then negative 2 na yung nasa right side niya. So, ibig sabihin yung negative 2 or yung values na malapit sa negative 3 from the right ay matatagpuan natin dito sa x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Kaya ito yung ating ginamit. So, square root of x plus 5. This is a radical function. Okay? So, gagamitin pa rin natin dito ay direct substitution at tingnan natin kung defined ba siya. So, square root of negative 3 plus 5 is equal to square root of 2. So, defined siya. Limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3 from the right is equal to square root of 2. Ngayon, ano naman yung from the left of negative 3? Di ba from the left of negative 3, pinakamalapit sa kanya yung negative 4. So, saan natin makikita yung negative 4? Approaching, from negative 4, approaching siya sa negative 3. So, dito natin siya makikita sa x is less than negative 3. Kasi ito, less than negative 3, hindi lang included yung negative 3, pero kasunod na niya is na integer ay yung negative 4. So, ito yung ating gagamitin para ma-evaluate yung, uh, yung uh, limit ng, neg ng f of x from the, or neg as x approaches 3 from the left. So, x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to, since this is a polynomial function, go with direct substitution, then the limit of the function is equal to 30. At dahil napansin nyo na ang limit ng dalawa ay magkaiba, therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3 uh, does not have a value, then the limit does not exist. Okay, hindi natin siya nilalagay na limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3 is equal to dNe. Wala kasing value yung dNe. Basta nilalagay lang natin, the limit does not exist. Next example, given f of x is equal to 2 raised to x plus 2 if x is less than 2 and x squared minus 16x all over x minus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 2. And then we are going to find limit of f of x as x approaches 2. Kunin muna natin ang limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right. So, values of 2 from the right are 2, ay 3, 4, and so on. So, anong gagamitin nating piece ng function? So, itong x is greater than or equal to 2 or itong rational function na ito. Okay, so we have x squared minus 16x all over x minus 2. And then, by substitution, hayan, ng 2 makakakuha tayo ng indeterminate form. At dahil indeterminate form siya, mayroon tayong common factor na dapat i-eliminate. At ito nga yun. 8x times the quantity x minus 2 all over x minus 2. Cancel yung x minus 2. Ang matitira ay 8x. At saka kapag na-substitute natin ang 2, ang value niya ay 16. So, yun yung indeterminate form. So, the second one, limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left. Ano yung values from the left of 2? Meron tayong negative 3, ay sorry, 1. Okay, 1 yung pinakamalapit niya na integer. So, dito tayo sa x is less than 2. Okay, kasi nga, pababa siya. So, 2 raised to x plus 2 ang gagamitin nating function. And this is an exponential function. Magsasubstitution lang din tayo rito. 2 raised to 2 plus 2 is equal to 2 to the fourth is equal to 16. At napansin natin na pareho ang left at right hand limit ng value, kaya limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 16. Isang technique para makuha agad ang limit ng piecewise function ay tingnan yung endpoints ng bawat intervals. Dito kasi ay we have x is less than 1, x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 6, x is greater than or equal to 6. So, ang endpoints ng ating interval dito, 
itong 1 at saka itong 6. Kapag pinapakuha ang limit sa inyo at ang given na value ay yung 1, at saka 6, dito kayo gagamit ng left at right hand limit dahil uh, magkaibang pieces ng function ang ating gagamitin. So, hindi ko mo magkaiba ay limit does not exist na dahil meron tayong function na kahit left at right hand limit, kahit magkaiba sila ng pieces ng function na ginamit katulad ng previous example, still the limit exists dahil pareho sila ng left at right hand limit. Dito tayo gagamit lamang ng left at right hand limit pero kung ang binigay sa inyo na value ay yung hindi endpoints ng interval. Let's say, x approaches 0. Tingnan mo lang kung saan papatak yung x up, yung 0. Okay, saan ba rito papatak yung 0? E eh, dito sa x is less than 1. O e eh, dito ito lang yung i-evaluate mo. Since siya ay polynomial function, okay, so the limit exists here. So, 0 minus 1, ang sagot na agad dito ay negative 1. Hindi mo nakukunin ang left at right hand limit kasi nga wala naman sa endpoints yung 0. Next, kapag naman x approaches 2, saan natin nahanapin yung 2? Saan nagpo-pull siya na interval? E di dito siya sa x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 6. So, ito yung ating gagamitin. Isa siyang rational function. At makikita mo naman dito na undefined ito kapag ang x ay 0. Since ang value niya ay 2, ibig sabihin defined yung function natin. So, ipalit mo lang siya. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 5 is equal to 11 over 2. Ayan na agad, hindi mo nakukunin ang left at right hand limit kasi ginagamit lamang natin iyon kung ang value ng x ay or yung value ng ina-approach ina ng x ay nasa endpoints. Ayan, kung 1 siya at saka yung 6.